Hello, everybody. My name is Brian Galicia. My Microsoft and LinkedIn teams, we help turn, we help customers turn relationships into revenue. I get questions all the time as to what are the benefits if I invest in LinkedIn Sales Navigator and a CRM solution like Dynamics, what happens when I actually integrate and utilize the tool, two solutions together to help drive better selling outcomes. So I thought I'd do this quick video on behalf of Microsoft and LinkedIn, just to give everyone a teaser as to what are the, some of the things you can do uh, as a seller to drive engagement between uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 and LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So what you see on the screen is these are at a very high level, the three key areas that you can have some form of an integration that allows your sellers to be more productive as they try to engage and hunt for high value conversations with possible customers. I think the first and very basic scenario is being able to have the sales navigator or LinkedIn experience embedded in looking at a record inside of your CRM or Dynamics 5 experience. Second is being able to have your sellers be really productive in Sales Navigator to allow them to easily follow and pay attention to the high-valued accounts and potential contacts that they may own as part of their territory or as part of their alignment to automatically follow those people in Sales Navigator based upon record ownership in Dynamics. And the third and one of the high-valued scenarios to ensure that LinkedIn does not become a silo of information is being able to push information that is occurring in LinkedIn Sales Navigator back into Dynamics as an activity. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started and, and show you a couple of very quick, quick scenarios just in a real uh, experience. So I'm going to share my desktop here. And what you should see is a Dynamics experience with Sales Navigator built into it. So the first off is when you go into a record in Dynamics, you'll be able to track and see the information as in context to who you're looking at. So in this case, with all the information I have access to, I immediately can quickly view, uh, in this case, my wife, and understand how I'm related to this person and who can make high-level introductions. Other great useful things is how I can get introduced, as well as trying to understand the buying committee through this related leads area. But at the very highest level, because I own this record inside of my Dynamics instance, it automatically allows me to start following uh, this person specifically in Sales Navigator. So if I go into Sales Navigator, a couple of great things. For those of you who aren't familiar, a Sales Navigator is just a, a much more highly valued uh, scenario that you do have to pay for that gives you a little, a little bit more uh, specific insight to a person and a lot more searching capabilities for people in a selling role. So a couple of things when you think about the integration, how it comes together. So as I mentioned, if I am own a record, an account record or a contact record in CRM or in Dynamics, I'll automatically be following, or in this case saved, but following the person in Sales Navigator. But because the record exists in Dynamics and I'm following the person in Sales Navigator, a couple of other useful things start to occur. So one is you'll see this little CRM icon appear on applicable records. And so what that means is the person that I may be looking up in Sales Navigator, it actually is informing me that this person is actually in my Dynamics experience. So I either can click on the icon or I can go over to the ellipsis area and click on View in CRM and it will take me directly back into the Dynamics 365 experience, which and that inherently saves a ton of time for sellers because they don't have to then go back into the context to if I'm in Dynamics or I'm in Sales Navigator, gives me that quick information at my fingertips. Second thing is that it starts to synchronize if I'm utilizing the LinkedIn platform to exchange some high value conversations, which we all do, such as a message or a note or an in-mail, I actually can then start to track that information so that dialogue can be pushed back into Dynamics as an activity. And so how it would show up, I'll just click as an example. If I click on message here, you're going to see at the bottom this area called copy to CRM. So if I check this and I whatever I write here, this information will then get pushed back into Dynamics as an activity. Same thing with notes. And just so you can see what happens, if I look, click on these messages, 
you can see the messages that I've already sent and copied back into Dynamics. Now, let me go back to my wife's record here and click on Summary. And you're going to see in the middle in the timeline in the activities area, all these engagements that have occurred in LinkedIn, I see it. Another high value ad that's really unique, uh, at least for now, with Dynamics is anytime someone engages with a point drive, a LinkedIn point drive, it actually pushes that detail back into uh, Dynamics. So anyone in the organization who has access to, to this record can actually see the interactions and history that actually have been occurring with this point drive. So you can see here, it takes me directly to the URL what I can look at all the insights that have been occurring in how this person consumed that information. So hopefully this quick video has given you some ideas and insight as to what are all the integration points that may exist between taking uh, advantage of the best of Sales Navigator, taking the best of Microsoft Dynamics 365, and merging them together. So if you have any questions, I highly encourage you to look at our Microsoft Relationship Selling site. So it's just dynamics.microsoft.com, en-us slash sales slash relationship-sales, or you can just do a, a search to just type in Microsoft Relationship Sales and you'll be able to access this information to give you a lot more detail. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Good selling and go Dynamics and go LinkedIn. Take care, thanks again. Thank you for watching. If you found this informative, please like, share, and subscribe to Business Applications YouTube. There you will find more videos on customer success, Dynamics 365, the Power Platform, and Microsoft AI. To navigate there directly, visit aka.ms slash business applications YouTube.